Fasted running or not eating breakfast before a run is actually something that a lot of runners do. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about what the benefits can be for fasted running or running without breakfast, as well as some of what the drawbacks might be. So you can decide if this is something that you think that could actually improve your running or if it's not for you. I'm gonna guess you've probably heard people about talk about doing this and then that's one of those things where you're like should I be doing this I've been eating breakfast before is that bad so let's go ahead and talk about it first of all eating breakfast before you go for a run is absolutely not bad if you are hungry then you should be eating so I'm not gonna be sitting here telling you that if you're hungry that you shouldn't be eating however I do think that we have become accustomed to getting up in the morning and immediately eating. And so once we start doing that, our bodies are adapted to that and we expect food, food, food right when we wake up. And it's kind of one of those things where society tells us that we should be eating breakfast, lunch, dinner at these times, right? And so if you are eating immediately upon waking and you're not actually hungry, or you're eating before you go running when you're not actually hungry just because that you think that you should, then that isn't necessarily the right choice. So that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video so that from this information, you can decide if it's something that is right for you and if you wanna try it or not. So as we get into this, I'm gonna talk about the advantages and the drawbacks of fasted running. It's not just this kind of perfect end all be all decision. And when we're talking about fasted running, what I do want you to know is this should be done before easy paced runs. This is generally regarded as safe. However, your doctor's orders always come first or if you do not feel comfortable doing this, if you feel faint, if it doesn't feel good to you, then you should not be doing it and definitely skip it. Okay, so first advantage to skipping breakfast before you go running is avoiding any side cramps that you might have. So. You might have be someone who has an iron stomach and have no issues and you're saying, well, that's not me, but I know a lot of runners who say that they have to wait, you know, this much time after their meal to go running or every time they run, their stomach hurts and they get side cramps. And this a lot of times has to do with what you decided to eat before. So I have a video about what to eat before a long run, which can also carry over to really any run. So definitely go ahead and check that video out that I have. But you need to be making sure that when you do eat, you are taking in easily digestible food. A lot of people eat whole grains and that actually can wreak havoc on, havoc on your system. So we recommend having like white grains instead or going for something like low fiber fruits. Those are better than the alternative. But one thing you can do to completely avoid that altogether is just go for your run without breakfast at all. And if this sounds like something overwhelming to you that you don't think you can do, I really just encourage you to try it. So when you go for a run, you maybe will feel hungry just right in the beginning, but as you get to running, that those hunger pangs go away. And honestly, you guys, our bodies, even if you're a very thin person, we have a lot of fat stored in our bodies that our body can use for energy, which means you're gonna be just fine most of the time. And so if you're someone who's been having that cramping or having stomach pains when you go running, I would highly recommend trying fasted running um, so get that run done early in the morning so that you don't have to stress about it. You will be okay with waking up, just having some water, coffee is fine too, going for you know your five, six, whatever it is, easy mile run, then coming home and having a delicious, healthy breakfast. So the second advantage to doing fasted running for those easy runs is to be become more fat adapted. And whether you're someone who races shorter races like 5Ks and 10Ks, or someone who runs marathons, ultra marathons, this can be a great way to teach your body to burn fat for fuel. 
Now, this is really more important for distance runners, endurance runners. So if you're someone who's running more of those shorter races, this isn't as necessary. But for a marathon, your body typically will burn the glycogen first, or it does burn the glycogen first, and your body can hold about 2,000 calories worth. So, and give or take, not everyone's going to be the same. Well, that's gonna be gone at around, if you're burning 100 calories per mile, then that's gonna be gone at 20 miles. And you still have 6.2 miles left of your race. So this is why obviously you need to be carbo loading that week before. I'm sure you've heard about carbo loading and carbo loading the day before, and then taking in nutrition during your run as well is gonna be really important for those last six miles to give you the energy that you need without completely burning out and hitting a wall. But one reason that you hit the wall in the marathon is because your body is wanting to burn glycogen like it's used to when all it has to burn is fat at that point. And so becoming more fat adapted makes your body more okay with burning that fat in those last six miles so it's not feeling like you're coming to a screeching halt. And if you've ever run a marathon, you know that dead leg wall feeling probably. We've all been there at a certain point in time. Well, the more fat adapted you become, the farther you can go until that feeling comes, or maybe it doesn't come at all. So this is also something that you can do in long run. So if you're someone who is a distance runner, you can actually do a long run without eating breakfast before and without taking in any nutrition during the long run. And trust me, you guys, when my coach had us do these for, this is the first time I did this was last year, about this time when I was training for Boston. And I see this 14 mile long run fasted on my schedule and it is scary. And honestly, that's one of those times where you realize later that it's more your mind than your body, that your mind is giving up long before your body does. So I had my coffee, I took an emergency gel just in case I felt a little faint. I always recommend doing that. And I felt a little bit hungry that first mile and it completely went away. It was so crazy. I went those whole 14 miles and then several weeks later I had an 18 mile run, fasted run, and I did just fine. Your body has the fat that it needs to burn. And as long as it is a LSD run, is what they're called, long, slow distance run, where it's an easy pace long run, then you should be completely fine doing that run without any breakfast, and then you can become more fat adapted. All right, this last one I just wanna to touch briefly on because I know most people um, probably this isn't, I mean, this isn't really what this video or channel is about. Um, it's more about you know, doing your best running and reaching your potential as a runner. But if fat loss is something that you are focused on or weight loss, then doing fasted runs can actually help with fat loss, at least jumpstarting it. Over time, as your body becomes more adapted, um, you won't notice the effects of that as much, but at least jumpstarting it, this can be a great way to do it. And honestly, just on top of that, I mean, keeping your weight where it's health, in its healthy range and reaching your potential as a runner, those two things do go hand in hand. And so really it's just a matter of making sure that you're eating nutritious foods and eating when you're hungry. So if you're only eating when you wake up because you think that that's what you're supposed to do and not because you're hungry, then that's not the healthiest decision for you anyway. And the other part of that is, is by the time you come home from your run and you're hungry and then you eat after your run, you know, you're probably gonna consume less calories anyway because you would have had breakfast and then you probably would have had a snack at that point otherwise. And so this kind of just, you know, makes it so you're taking in less calories anyway, if that's something that is important to you. All right, so let's talk about the disadvantages or when you wanna skip fasted running. If you have any speed work on your training schedule or any hill work or even marathon pace, this is not the time that you want to be skipping breakfast before you go running or going on those fasted runs because you are going to get fatigued much more, much more quickly than if you did have that food beforehand because food is fuel and that's what we should be treating it as um, anytime, but especially during you know a time of training. Think of your food as fuel, and that's why we're paying so much attention to what you're putting in your body. It's making you feel good and making you do your best running. Trying to hit those fast paces in speed work is going to be difficult. Maybe you can fit, hit your first couple, and as your body realizes that it's only burning fat and there's no carbs, there's 
no immediate fuel source for it to burn, you're gonna feel that fatigue and it's probably gonna be hard for you to hit those paces. Same thing if you have a long run and maybe your coach or your schedule says that within a few miles, now you're supposed to go to marathon pace. You're gonna probably find that trying to hit that marathon pace, even if you can hit it, it's feeling that much harder than it normally would. Because again, your body is trying to burn fat f for fuel that it's not used to. So fatigue setting in is going to happen a lot sooner than if you are taking in glycogen or taking in those easy to digest carbs before your run. So to recap, you can definitely do fasted running and it can be advantageous for your running and burning fat for fuel when you're doing this before easy runs of really any length. But if you have a hard run, quality work, speed work that you're doing, then you'll want to be eating breakfast most of the time, um, at least to be able to hit those paces. And in order to get faster and reap the benefits of those speed work days, you need to be hitting the paces that you need to hit. And so you wanna be taking in breakfast beforehand so that you have the fuel that you need so that your legs can keep going and your cardiovascular system is feeling great throughout. All right, guys, so I hope you got some good tips from this video. If so, please press the like button. And as you're hearing this, if you're saying, this isn't for me, then that's totally okay. You can still be a fantastic runner and reach your potential in your running without doing fasted running. It's just one more element that you might wanna try if you're feeling like you want to break through that next barrier. Or if you just feel junky and your stomach hurts on your runs, then try not eating before you go running and you'll feel that much better. I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching the Ready, Set, Marathon YouTube channel and I'll catch you on the next video.